I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to find inverse normal distribution. Now we are given that for x random variable which follows a normal distribution with mean of 0 and standard deviation of 1 rather variance of 1 probability for x to be less than a is given to us as 0 0.695 and probability for x greater than b is 0 0.015 we need to find the values of a and b right so that is the question for us you can pause the video answer the question and look into my suggestions now here we already have a normalized normal distribution since we have 0 as the mean and 1 so we can straight away use the standardized uh, normal distribution tables correct so that's that's easy so when we are saying that probability for the random variable to be less than a is given to us which is 0 0.695 since it's a normal distribution it's as good as writing that is a z score right so so that means z score is less than a uh, which is 0 0.695 so uh, 0 0.695 is a value which is uh, on the right side correct so so just to give you a perspective here let's say we have a normal graph kind of like this okay then in that case we have the mean which is zero and one let's say this is this is one for us here and this is minus one for us so when we are saying that the value is 0 0.6 so more than 50 percent correct so so we are looking for a value which is uh, on the right side, right? Which is on the right side, so somewhere on the right side. We don't know where, but we have to find that value of a, right? So it's positive, right? Okay, so it's on the right side, therefore it is positive. So in the positive side of our standardized normal distribution table, we'll look for 0 0.695. So 0 0.695. So we have this here 0 0.69 and some with this value works for us, right? 0 0.69 and that gives us the value as 0 0.51. Is it okay? 0 0.51 is the Z score. So this is A is equals to 0 0.51. So that is how we find the inverse reading from the table itself correct okay? 0.51 let's look into it once again we are saying that the probability is 0.69 to the left side so 0.695 so we can round this to 0.695 and on the z score we have 0.51 do you get the idea so that is the z score 0.51 correct now so we got a as 0.51 now let's look into the value for the other one which is probability of x greater than b right so so point 0.5 let me plot this here between 0 and 1 somewhere right in the middle we are talking about correct so so we are saying this is uh, this is a for us right this portion so when you say less than a, we are saying this portion. Is it okay? So this this portion of the graph we're talking about, right? All this going up to this place, and the point which we found a. This is a for us, 0.51. Okay. Now b is greater than. So we are saying probability of this is greater than 0.015. Now we know greater than b is this much. So the table which we have is for less than so how do we write probability for x less than b equals to so that should be 1 minus this 1 minus 0 0.015 does it make sense to you total area is 1 total probability is 1 so 1 minus that's a complement right 1 minus 0 0.015 gives you in decimals uh, equals to 0 0.985 is it okay so 0 0.985 so that means 
a very large number somewhere on the right side so we are expecting a large number let's see what this is so we are looking for the value of b which gives us this probability so what is b equals to that's a z score because i mean okay so we will actually look into 0.98 so let's 0.985 okay so 0.985 so 0.98 and then you just go through this 0.985 is right there so at this place that is 0.985 is it okay so which is for 2.1 and 100 places 7 2.17 so we get b as 2.17 correct that is what we get 2.17 so which is kind of second kind of here let's say this is 2.17 this is the value for b for us but clearly what you have seen here how to use the inverse normal distribution you could also use your calculators we have a function inverse normal distribution that ti series and you can easily find it out but from the tables that is how you can translate this was there to demonstrate the use and we have taken normal distribution as our examples to make it very simple the next example we could take with distribution which is not normal in that case we'll have to convert those scores to z scores and then figure it out so we'll take that next i'm Adil kumar and i hope that helps right thank you and all the best